Hey, what's up, y'all? Y'all know my slogan. I don't know it all, but I know what I've been through. Now, before we get into this video, please make sure you head on down to Instagram and follow us on our official Instagram page at Hookah Anonymous underscore. We're able to be a little more explicit, a little more uncensored, and share content freely without running the risk of having our channel terminated. So, once again, Make sure you head on down to Instagram and follow us on our official Instagram page at hookah anonymous underscore. We're almost at 100,000 subscribers. So if you like this video, make sure you subscribe and hit that bell so you notify every time we drop new content. Now let's get into what you guys came here to see. Now, looks like things are starting to heat up in this trial. And just as I expected, right? Somehow, some way, King Vaughn was going to be implemented into this occasion based on the 100K bounty that they say he allegedly placed on FBG Dub. I say allegedly because we don't know for sure, but it did come out at one point in time that Vaughn had something to do with Dub's death behind the scenes by offering the payout of $100,000 for his death. Now, as y'all know, O Block is currently facing trial, and as of November 20th, a new update will come out during trial of King Vaughn's music as they try to determine whether to use it as evidence or simply entertainment. Now, of course, the song came out before Duck lost his life as the fatal incident with Duck happened August of 2020, and King Vaughn's took her to the old song, according to the music video on YouTube, was published in February of 2020. We know that Vaughn had a knack for telling stories in his music, but this time the talent may have came back to bite him in the long run, as similarities between the way Duck was killed seem to mirror the way the events actually transpired in his video. Now y'all know I always tell y'all that the feds don't play, and they look into literally everything. I highly doubt any of his music has any correlation to what went down, but this is why you have to be very careful on what you put out there when you're in the streets, because it could come back to haunt you in the long run. Like they say, anything you say or do can be used against you in the court of law, and that's exactly what we're seeing here. So before we get fully into the update and King Vaughn's alleged involvement through his music, if you aren't subscribed, do so now. This way, every time we update you guys on what's going on, y'all can be the first to hear by also hitting that notification bell down below so you're not only subscribed but notified about each drop. Now as trial proceeds, they're in a phase where they're proving that there's motive behind the O-Block members being involved in Duck's attack and one FBG Doug gone, which stemmed from a years long battle between both sides, whether it's GDs and BDs. They're in a phase where they're proving that there's drama between both factions and the prosecutors are using music lyrics and videos to prove their point. Now this is damaging for the simple fact that within the trial stands a jury who the decision making on guilt rests on their judgment. Some of them may or may not know who these guys are, but if they're using videos where you can see some of these guys throwing gang signs, rapping about killing or holding up firearms in the camera, it's kind of easy to label these guys dangerous, thus indicating that they may have carried out this attack and charged them accordingly. Which is why I hope some of the young guys are watching and paying attention to what's going on because this should be a lesson on what not to do or become the next one to end up in the same position due to you thinking that it can't happen to you. If y'all remember back in 2022, they tried presenting a law called the RAP Act which was an acronym for Restoring Artistic Protection, which aimed to limit the extent to which an artist's creative or artistic protection may be used against him in the court of law. It was highlighted due to Young Thug and YSL's Rico, where his lyrics were used as evidence in the 56 count gang indictment. But the wishes of lyrics not being used was quickly shot down a few days ago, as the judge approved that lyrics can be used in YSL's case, and that seemed to be the case during the O-Block trial as well. Now, quick sidebar, I personally don't believe that lyrics should be held accountable on certain occasions for the simple fact that it's all just entertainment. Majority of these guys ain't doing half the stuff they're talking about anyway, but this should be a wake-up call if you're just saying anything you want in your music because it sounds cool, because once again, it can come back to haunt you. Now, I can understand if somebody come out and just flat out explain something that happened like during a crime then you can use it against them but anything other than that just doesn't make sense 
But anyway, the jury also played Duck's last song he released called Dead B Words and are trying to say that this fueled the O-Block members to carry out the attack due to him dissing some of their deceased members. However, a defense attorney by the name of Brian Barnett will argue that drill rap is quote, strictly for entertainment. But here's where King Vaughn came in. They would compare his song and video took her to the O to the way Duck was killed due to Vaughn making references to Duck and his brother Brick in the song and shooting a man resembling Duck. A clip out of the Sun Times article would say, quote, Jurors on Tuesday watched King Vaughn's video for Took Her to the O, an apparent reference to O Block, which prosecutors say also refers to the Parkway Gardens housing complex that serves as the gang's faction's power base. The song was released months before Duck was killed and allegedly served as a foreshadowing of his violent death. FBI agent Dominique Dixon said the song includes references to both Duck and his late brother FBG Brick, and the video shows Vaughn fatally shooting a man who shares the same features as Duck. Y'all see how they play? So I don't know if y'all realize and if y'all wondering what King Vaughn has to do with it, but they're using King Vaughn's lyrics and video as a general motive to include everyone a part of the indictment as an O Block gang. This way it's easier to prosecute them as a whole and say they all are included because based on Vaughn's took her to the O video and the way Duck was attacked, it shows this was a motive for them especially with it being alleged that Vaughn himself is accused of putting a bounty on Duck's head. So if you're still lost, just think of it as this. Vaughn allegedly had a bounty on Duck, right? He makes a song dissing Duck and in the video making gestures like he's shooting someone that looks like Duck. Then on top of that, they prove that these guys are actually associated with Vaughn and are suspected of killing Duck. Do y'all see the correlation? All the prosecutor's job to do is to convince the jury that they had a motive to attack Duck and that's it. You know, on top of all the evidence that they have in general. Now, on top of that, King Vaughn will also be used because there's a cooperating witness involved that testifies saying that Kenny Mack told him personally that he himself took part in the shooting because Vaughn put the hit on Duck. So you see how it all just <laughs> correlates with each other, how it all is just like one big cycle. And I don't know how true this is, but shout out to Just Chris because he did a video stating that the cooperating witness may have been Lil Zay Osama's little brother, being that he caught a gun charge and the article states that the witness who testified against Kenny Mack did it to get a reduced sentence in a gun related case. So don't quote me on that one, but that's the rumors that's flying around the streets. However, when Mama Duck told y'all that everyone was telling on each other, as y'all could clearly see, she wasn't lying, even though it went over a lot of y'all heads. Now, prosecutors also are using the infamous O Block chains that King Vaughn bought certain members, explaining that they may have been considered awards for the certain guys that took part in the incident. They would explain that Vaughn spent $128,000 on the O Block chains from an Atlanta jewelry store that we know is Icebox, and they're emphasizing that they were bought after Duck's death, hinting that they were used as a badge of honor. Marcus Smart, aka Mua, who is a suspect, was also present with Vaughn the day he went to the jewelry store and says that he himself alluded to the pendants being quote unquote trophies. These statements are now being used as evidence in the case, as well as the infamous 2020 video of Vaughn handing out stacks of cash at an apartment in Parkway Gardens. Prosecutors want to use it during the trial, I'm assuming to show that Vaughn oftenly handed out money to o Block members, but attorney Cynthia Giacchetti argued that if the video is used, then jurors may also misinterpret it and connect it to Doug's death in some way, and it had nothing to do with it. Now, honestly, I'm just amazed at how the feds are really trying to use any and everything. I know they don't play, but it's just mind boggling how if you aren't careful about what you post on social media, it can come back and haunt you, even if you were just doing it to show off or it didn't have anything to do with something negative. But once again, it's all about the perception given to the jurors and what they determine afterwards. But anyway, to counteract the money being handed out, another attorney by the name of Steve Greenberg would play Drake's God Plans video to show that musicians often give out money all the time to get attention and likes on social media, which was a little clever tactic he pulled, but the next point prosecutors brought up may not have been so easy to ignore. Prosecutors would review an unreleased song by Muop that he previewed on his Instagram where the lyrics would say, quote, Dude from 63rd couldn't get back up, no boss clapped up, 
yeah, we had to mask up. Now, I've seen that video. It's on YouTube, and I actually remember seeing it in real time when he first posted it. I never did a video on it because I felt it was way too crazy given their circumstance, and lo and behold, look. And that's going to be hard to defend because he could have easily just said, well, you know, that was just us reacting to what happened to Duck. That was me seeing the video. He couldn't get up and whatever, so I just made a song out of it, you know? But he involved himself when he said, quote, we had to mask up, right? Let me say that again. We had to mask up. <laughs> and pardon me because it ain't funny, but it's more so shocking how crazy and bold these guys were. I mean, the dissing in the songs and incriminating yourself in the drill culture tend to be a normal thing these days. And it continues because people don't think it can happen to them. So when you actually see it happening in real time, it's like, wow. And I know he's inside right now thinking about all the stuff he could have did differently to prevent it. Because if y'all pay attention, this case haven't even been a situation where you could say it was good police work. These dudes literally handed the case to the feds. From the rental car, surveillance, music videos, lyrics, cooperators, text messages, like literally handing the feds this case. But anyway, that was pretty much it, y'all. If y'all go through the Chicago Sun-Times article, it seems like they're approaching a phase in the trial where they'll be speaking more on Lil Durk's brother, money-making deep thing, as the article states that his name came up as well as Lil Durk's name towards the end of the trial day. Now, in the article, I don't know if they're trying to lead to some type of suspense, but they say FBI agent Dixon, when asked who else they had in their investigation sites or like sites of the investigation, Kenny Mac's lawyer Steve Greenberg would suggest that Lil Durk wasn't important, but Dixon would strike back and say, quote, did I say he wasn't important? So, <laughs> I don't know, man, it's getting interesting, but this is the latest in the O Block trial so far. I know the video is pretty lengthy, but it was some interesting stuff, and sometimes I get carried away in talking about it because I can't believe how bold these guys actually were. But it is what it is. Y'all jump in the comments. Let me know what y'all think about this. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Hit that bell so you're notified every time we drop new content. And remember, as long as you keep on watching, I'm going to keep on dropping. And I'm out. <laughs>